Generic greetings! Into the Breach is still one of the finest games I've played this year and indeed in a long time. It's amazingly well designed, its presentation is superb, it very rarely feels unfair and for the most part it is balanced. I'm still not sold on a couple of mechs but almost certainly it's how I'm playing them rather than the game because if you look at the way the pieces have fallen into place, I think... I really don't think it's uh, there's much to really fault this game on. I mean, you can you can not like it. I think that's that's a perfect thing to, to say. I don't like this game. It's not for me, etc. However, to knock its mechanics is difficult for me to <laughs> to me for me to uh, understand because, like I say, I just think it's so well designed. By the way, today's beverages a nice cup of lemon tea. So I haven't played it in quite a while and I thought I would change that by messing up a lot of fights or maybe even a couple of fights and then um, humiliating myself by losing the game very quickly. Let's go to new game and yes and we are going to pick our squad. So if you haven't seen this game before then well if you have any great interest I've made other videos but uh, I'll give you a basic overview now. You have a, a group of three mechs, a lance of mechs. And they do different things. So in this case, we have a flame mech, a meteor mech, and a swap mech. So flame mech allows you to have a flamethrower, which sets them on fire and pushes them back. We also have a flame shield in which all mechs are immune to fire, which is useful. We have a Vulcan artillery, which uh, damages or sets fire to the thing you hit and then pushes people back and we have a swap mech which as you can see swaps around which is quite useful as well you also have a time traveler um, there is a story that goes with this in a basic overview but we can skip over that for the purposes of a uh, short um, overview uh, and you can see that every uh, mech starts with every mission with a shield we can change the traveler and you unlock these as you progress on so we've got Chen Rong which is after attacking gain one free movement uh, Archimedes requires a power and move again after shooting very powerful uh, Ralph Carlson uh, gains plus two bonus per XP per kill and Lily Reed gain plus three movement on the first turn of every mission and I think we're going to go with Bethany Jones to gain an extra shield there and we will go for normal difficulty and start because as I said I haven't played this in a while so I'll probably be absolutely terrible at it. I and mean, I wasn't great at it previously, but we did manage to do some very successful runs as well. Um, we do have to select an island, so we're going to go with the RST corporate head office, so divided uh, and asking for your help. So we have to select where we want to go. The way you win is by taking over or uh, at least completing a number of these fights and then you'll beat the final boss and the island's complete. Once you complete two islands, you can do the volcano and then basically win it. Um, I've won it quite a number of times now. Um, I was very absorbed into the game when it first came out. I, I must have spent many an hour totally engrossed in it and you start to see the code almost. It was like the Matrix raining down in front. I could see three or four moves ahead and it was um, <laughs> an experience I'm not used to actually being semi-competent at something. Anyway, so RST training. Kill these seven enemies to gain a star and protect the coal plant for a for a energy. Uh, that's the power grid. If the power grid gets to zero, we lose. Um, Doomsday point. Defend the terraform and terraform grassland back to desert, which is the opposite way <laughs> of doing things. Uh, Razor shot. Defend the earth mover and take less than three grid damage. I'm going to go for the um, Doomsday point and we'll see if we can do that one. So, as you can see, we're on an 8x8 eight eight grid. And there's some Vec, which are bad guys. So we've got a Shell Scion, we have a Firefly, and we have a Scorpion. Now, obviously there's so many things in this game that are well designed. It's such a well-made game, but the thing that makes it work is how readable it is. Um, not just in terms of its text and just a big wall of this is what's happening, but different symbols. I know that that's in uh, the forest there, which forests can be set on fire. And you see on the bottom right there, if damaged, lights on fire grassland. Bonus objectives to terraform this grassland. We've got um, things like... The, if we mouse over this enemy, we can see there's a symbol there. That means armoured, armoured enemies um, uh, take one less damage, I believe. So that this is what they have to destroy, okay? If they destroy these, by the way, you can see they'll lose... Well, we lose two power grid, one power grid, one power grid. As I said, it's very readable. Victory in five turns. The attack order is also another very important thing to understand. Fire damages first, and then the enemy actions, and then the enemies emerge uh, after the fight. So, we have... A mech that's going to go here. We're going to have an artillery that we want to place so we can scoot around. What speed is this? The move is three, so we can go one, two, three. I want to be able to... I think there is a good position. And then a swapper can go near the front. And then we will confirm that. So, we land. And it is mission start. So, they move first. Uh, this one is a scion, which is not going to do much. 
that's going to light that up there, and then that's going to attack there. Okay, so, play order. We can see his fire damage first, done. Um, we get our action now, we do our things, and then the enemy will activate. So, we can see that this thing is attacking the terraformer. I'm going to do a total of... 1 damage. This is going to attack and do 1 damage and that thing there is just providing a passive bonus. So ideally we want to kill that. So how are we going to do that? Well, there's many an option. I, however, think that the best way of doing it is we use the terraform. The terraform has an ability which can terraform entire areas. Now, how are we going to use that to our advantage? Well, if we terraform there, it will just kill these people. This thing here, right? Terraform there, same thing and same thing. However, we want to be able to shift them probably so we get uh, either him up there and then we'll kill two or that one down there and then kill those two there. We also have this ability which allows us to push things back over so we can do that. Um, the question is will we be able to get all three in one go? I believe that is a possibility. Uh, so we can say use, put them there and then hit there with flame which will set that on fire, not that it matters, but push him to there. Hitting there will set that on fire, push them to there, and then this one into there, which will cause one damage because it's pushing them. Um, I will undo that move. Uh, you do have the ability to reset your turn, but can only be done once per battle. Uh, this thing can go there and then hit them, which will set them on, uh, set that ground on fire and push them back to there. So in reality, we can get all three there, which should be quite useful. We can also then use a swapper, which um, swaps things in this lo well, swaps things with uh, this person's location, which at this particular time is not really what I'm after. So what I'm going to do is move that mech to there, I will push them like so, which uh, sets them on fire actually, which is quite good. We're going to move this fella down to there, and then we will light that on fire, which is a fire mountain. <laughs> We've got Mount Doom there, and these are all sitting here. So. You can see this one is now going to be attacking that for one damage, but because they're armoured, it's going to cause no damage. This one will be burning, so the attack order is fire first, so it'll suffer one point of damage. Uh, the enemies will then act, and then finally the enemies will emerge, so emerging there, there, and there, and the emerging one, because it's blocked, will cause him to take another point of damage. So he will be dead regardless of what we do. However, instead what we're going to do is terraform this entire side and kill them all, because quite frankly, it's just easier. Alright, and then what I'm going to do is shift this mech over to here, to protect this side and give us some more options. Remember, one of our ob one of our objectives is to terraform the grassland, all of this, back to desert. So there we go. I believe that is us. Everybody's now turned out. We still have an action available to swap, and we can swap to there if we do so desire. I think I will. And there we go. And then we will end the turn. So the enemy turn. Fire, nothing, activate nothing because they're not there, and then they will pop up, and then they will start moving. So one's going to go to there and threaten that, the other one's going to there and threaten the swapper guy, and then the other's going to go back to there, and then uh, in an interesting move is going to be attacking that. So we need to get rid of them for a start off, that's not good. Um, the way to do it is to, well, I don't think we can kill them. Well, we can. I could move to there, and then I could hit them for one fire and then push them into there. That would not only uh, cause them to be on fire, but also crush that, which is sort of pointless. That's not what we're after. So I could go to there and then set fire to them there, but that wouldn't kill them. I could do that and push them away. Not always about the killing of them, but um, just taking them out is always useful. Now, we do have a terraforming option this side, as you can see, which would kill our own mech. So that's probably not the way to go. However, we can, if we wanted to, um, move them down to... Darn it, I can't make the... I just can't move fast enough. Uh, what's our movement? Our movement is three, so one, two, three. Um, I need to get them over to there, okay? And the reason for that is I'll terraform this side and kill these two. And the way to do it is probably just a set fire to that, which pushes them. And I think that's exactly what we'll do. So we'll fire to there, which does that. We will then terraform this side once I've moved here. And I'm going to go to there and then push them that way, okay? Which sets fire to them, but also leaves a fire block there. So going there is going to be a problem. You can see that's now opened up this shot, which would hit that if I wasn't just about to absolutely wipe them out like so. So there we go, there's another two dead. And then we've still got our swapper. So our swapper I think I will put right in the center. Uh, can I do that? What's the range of the swapper? The range of the swapper is... Uh, nearby tile. Okay, so it is not 
ranged at all, really. So I'm just going to sit there because we're roughly in the center. General rule of thumb, stay near the center. You have more options. You can repair. Uh, repair one damage and remove fire, ice, and acid. I don't need to do that, so I will simply end the turn. I know it's an action available, but we'll end that there. So there's the fire damage. It will attack the ground. We have a flyer, a scorpion, and finally... Ooh, this is a problem. This is a bit of a problem. Mm, okay, that's interesting. So, the fire on this one, I'm not too worried about. That will be dead, okay? So, even though it's attacking, no, no need to panic. No need to panic, Mr. Manring. We can wait. The fire damage will take them out. Fire damage is number one in the sequence, followed by number two, which won't be there because they'll be extra crispy on the ground. So, we don't need to worry about that, so we can just shift this one along. We are getting attacked here from this Firefly, but we can just move out of the way, so that's fine. This Scorpion, however, is attacking this thing, which is a bit annoying, but we can obviously wipe that out with our terraforming ability. We also have another option. We can, we can, if we wish, try and get both of these dead. And we would do that by swapping with them, okay? And then instead we terraform that way which will kill two of them. So that's better, even though that one's going to be dead. Is there another way of doing it? Almost certainly yes. Is there a better way of doing it? Well, that's what we have to try and work out. This isn't a game for just smashing through it and, ah, that, that you know, that's my first option. And obviously all of the different mechs and um, equipment will change how you play. So I've got two more terraforms. I can terraform this side and get both of them. Can I get that person over there? It would be possible, I believe. Um, probably not, actually. See, we, we can terraform both sides, you see, but I'm trying to get the objective done. question is, do I just want to swap with him? I think the players swap with that. Like so. Right. Get, get the terraform and done. That just takes two of them out, right? This fella. Can we hit there? That would set fire to that, which wouldn't entirely be useful to me. See, hitting there would only set him on fire. But it wouldn't stop him attacking. If I do that, though, same effect, because he's still on fire, because of the fire that's there. And that rages throughout the entire thing. And then my other option, which is not a bad option, is go to there and do that, because he's now on fire. All right. In the attack order, the fire will burn him for one. This will burn for one. I don't burn because I'm immune to fire, and also I'm not in fire. Um, then they'll fire at me, taking my shield off, which is currently on, so that's fine. Um, this one will attack ground, don't care. And then the spawn will happen, which means they'll take another damage, and I'll take damage because I'm, st I'm standing there. Excuse me. So there's the fire damage. There we go. There's the attack that takes the shield off. There's the attack there, which causes... Ah, oh, that causes smoke because... It uh, causes smoke because of um, the attacked sand. So that's why. So, we can see that this one is now moved down to there. It's on fire. It will be dead. I don't need to worry about that. What do I need to worry about? Well, I need to worry about that attacking. And I need to... Um, victory in turn. I need to terraform... A bit more of the grassland, I believe, that side, is it? I think so. And is there a way for me to do that very easily? Uh, well, I can just click, but can I get that person in? It is a possibility. I'd have to go there and do that, which would set it on fire. Um, and a building on fire is suboptimal. I don't actually know whether the fire can burn that don't know if it can. Yes, it can, but I don't know if it's going to destroy the building or not. Uh, 
Um, I'm assuming that the fire will. No unit on tile. It says units on fire take one damage at the start of every turn. It says units and that isn't a unit. So maybe the building is able to survive. I could reset the turn, but I'm, al I'm also of the opinion I really want to try... Well, I definitely want to try this out. So I'm going to terraform that. And that should be all of the grassland now destroyed. Which we've got an objective there. Um, and this fella... Will, now, if I go there, you can see I can't attack because smoke blocks it. Instead, I will go to... Does it really matter? I'm going to go to there and just swap. And there we go. We've swapped. And then this one can go there. And then because I can, I'll just say... Uh, fire. Just more fire around here is, you know, in case anything spawns. Which it won't. Because enemy turn will just be flame. And then that dies. And we can confirm that, yep, yeah, that doesn't burn the buildings. Nor does it burn us because we're immune. No Vex. So we've completed that. We've destroyed all of the Vex. We've defended the Terraformer. And we've done the desert. Uh, sorry, Terraform the grassland back to desert. That is all of the civilians protected. Complete perfect sweep. Not bad for someone who hasn't played in many a month. Hmm. Okay, so we have new terror, which is defensive shields active. Don't kill any of the volatile Vec. That's only a one star one. I'm probably going to go for this one, which is kill these seven enemies and protect the coal plant. That one is defend the earth mover and take less than three grid damage. Razor Shaw. I am going to try the RST training, I think. Um, I want you to make sure there is no flying phones Vec. Turn those erosion points. They're emerging from into graves, so that's fine. This one you can see is... Ah, that one. So I believe that this thumps and it gets rid of bits. Um, oh, no, it fills in the chasm. That's right, it fills in the chasm. So you have to defend that and take less than three grid damage. If I remember rightly, that was difficult. But let's try this one, which is kill seven enemies, which for this build is not great because they normally just... Pre I use them as... Um, a blocker, so prevent them from emerging and then putting lots of fire everywhere and it slowly kills them, but it doesn't really hit them hard. But let's try that. So we have immediately, oh, three bad spawns. So three scorpions, but the scorpions can only move three. So one, two, three. So they're not actually going to be able to get to any buildings um, in this turn, which is interesting. So there, there, and there, I believe. One, two, three, but that will be able to attack me, so I'm not going to go there. One, two, three. One, two, three. And confirm. So we land. The mechs are here. Mission starts. So they will now move. There you go. You can see they cannot attack. Well, that one will be able to attack, but there we go. And ah. And they've just appeared. Wonderful. So what is my options? Well, I could do that. That's going to set a lot of them on fire. Um, if I move there and then attack, you can see it's going to push people all, all about the place. Um... This is a problem already. The problem is if I attack here, yes, it's going to cause a bit of fire, but it's then going to move him down to there, and then they're attacking as well. Uh, my only option is to is to actually do there, which means it'll push them that side, but then we're not causing any damage. Whereas if we go there, we're causing damage and pushing things back. And going there and swapping will not help. That's the outlier. What's my options? What are my options? Hmm. My options, quite frankly, are few. I'll just make them burn. That'll push them to there. Going to there, we'll just push them into the building, which causes another point of damage, and they're going to attack anywhere for one. They're only attacking for one, and we do have a 15% chance to to uh, resist that. Um, my question is, do I just want to leave that? Just assume that's going to get hit anywhere? Because we're not just thinking about this turn, we're obviously thinking of the future ones as well. So, can I just put that down to unluck unlucky, being unlucky, and then just start focusing over here? Um, it's a possibility. It is a possibility. Um, if we move to... Th if we have that there... Oh, we can't get 
there. The swap would be able to move, though. If I did that, would it matter? It'll put him there. Would that mean anything? Could move to there, swap, go to there, and then fight to there, and that would cause... Three damage in total with fire in nowhere. That would be a point of damage to myself. Oh, right, oh, hang on, hang on, we might be able to survive this. This one, we might be able to get him killed. It'll mean taking damage, but I'm not opposed to that. We move there. We move there, we hit that for one damage, which damages itself in that one. Okay, let's do this. This might be a misplay. We swap, we then move to there, and then we do that, which is going to cause a point of damage there, point of damage there, move that one back to there, and then cause a point of damage to that one, and maybe damage that building, which it did. It did. So we've got 88 casualties and we've lost a power grid. But it's caused a fair bit of damage, and that's going to die of fire. Right. Okay. That's perhaps not terrible, but I don't really know. Um, I can ignore that one, and I can ignore that one. That, that's a, the spawns are amazing. Um, oh, it would be very tempting just not to do that. But let's think about it. This is the main problem here. We could just go there and do that. Um, that will that will push them in out of the way, but then we're not killing them. The other option is to go to there. Hit them there for a point of damage. That's not going to work out. We hit there, which pushes them there. Then I come in and attack, which causes a point of damage. Or well, fire to there, and pushes them into there so they'll be on one damage and they'll die of the fire. That could work. That could work. It just leaves this one attacking him, which I am not too keen on. For obvious reasons. And I would... He's called Colin as well. <laughs> cool. Bethany Jones, Ledia, and Colin. That's a shame, because you can't... Because it's artillery, you can't fire close to you. Um... Swap there would just attack myself though. So I can't swap with him. That's a shame. Oh, hang on. Santile, if damage turns into smoke, units in smoke cannot attack or and repair. Right. That changes things dramatically, actually. Oh, even better. So what we'll do. <laughs> Bethany there, push them to there, over there, hit that person with fire, which then pushes them back to that side. But do we want to push them back to that side is the question. We want them to attack, don't we? We want them to attack, so we don't actually want to do that first. What we want to do is to move to there, hit them with fire, which should smoke. No, it didn't. Did it not? It did not. Looks like it just turns it into fire. That's a shame. If damage turns into smoke, units and smoke can't attack. So it looks like you can't have smoke and fire. So we could reset the turn, and instead what I'd do is move this person down to there, push them there, and then the attacker would be two first, which means they would attack there, which makes smoke, and then that wouldn't attack, so it causes no damage. However, this is going to cause overall more damage, and I think that's the main thing to do. So, I want to... I want to do this, and swap, because hopefully they're now going to get to get on fire, and they're not attacking anywhere. If I swap on that one, they would attack me. So there's the fire damage. Alright, there you go. So the attack order is this one attacking, which causes a point of damage. That one's going to resist. Perfect. That's what we wanted. Then there's going to be a lot of attacks. Alright. 
if there's going to be spawns around here, we might die. That might die here. If there's a spawn right there, it is a possibility. Please don't spawn there. Please don't spawn there. Please don't spawn. No, no spawns. Right. Um, oh dear. All kinds of bad. All kinds of problem. So, whatever happens, I am losing, I believe, a grid. Because there's nothing I can do about it. These two are dead. I'm not worried about them in the slightest. They're going to die because of the fire. That one's going to die. Oh, that one's going to die because of the fire. So we need to worry about those two and that one. So how can I deal with that? I cannot. I don't believe I can. What we do is let that one die. These three are going to die. Okay. <laughs> Kill at least seven enemies, current one. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Um, I will probably use repair, Colin. I will get this one to go down to there, attack that. That kills it. Actually, I might go to there and do that. Yeah. Then I'll get th them to move down there and push them that way, which sets them on fire. And this one's just going to get attacked. I think that is my best course of action. Is there anything else we could do? That could go to there, which would kill my mech. Um... Uh, <laughs> So we're not going to do that. We could go down there and push them to there. Which would then allow me to do absolutely nothing. And I'm still having to deal with that. This one, as you can see, is limited by movement. I could go there and cause fire around me. And that's pretty much it. So I think I'm just limited by... Um, just movement here, really. So we'll just do what I mentioned there. Uh, achievement. This is fine because <laughs> everything's on fire. And then, well, I'll just repair Colin, because, quite frankly, we don't need to do anything else. So, fire will burn three of them. Uh, four of them to death, actually. One, two, three. Oh, three. And then four. There was a fire damage there. So, we're just going to get attacked here. Probably lose a grid. Yeah, shame. And they're in fire. I'm not worried about them. And there's only one left. So, victory in turn, basically. It's... Yeah. It is what it is. Um, I can do that if I wanted. And it'll be on fire. There we go. Um, yeah, just repair. And... Yeah, don't need to do anything else really, do we? Yeah, just end the turn. That's it. And it's a win. But... We haven't got the star. Shame. Mission complete. Uh, not as good as the last one, certainly not. So, hang on. Kill these seven enemies. We killed seven enemies? Oh, was that one remaining? Oh, in that case, I revised my previous statement. We've done quite well. Continue. Um, region skewed. We have lost one grid, which is a shame. We do have three corporate reputation. Corporate reputation is used to buy equipment and... Um, Upgrade your mech when you have finished the island. I believe I need to do... I think it's two more to get this island done. It might be one more, but I think it's two. Uh, you've got reactor cores, which is upgrading your mech. Sorry, yes. Corp reputation used to buy stuff. Uh, reactor cores to upgrade your mechs. But that's it. I think we're going to leave it there. That's uh, been a little bit of... Into the Breach. It's still amazing. <laughs> I'm not surprised on how much I like it. I'm... Struggling with these mechs. Actually, the flame mech and the meteor mech, I'm liking a lot. Sword and mech, hmm, nah, nah, not, not sold on just yet. Swapping can be very, very handy. But with it only being range 1, and it's only got 2 health, admittedly it flies and has 4 movement, which is, you know, offsetting that. If we had... Um, Bethany in there, which we could do. We could happily put Bethany in there, like so. And it has a shield. That might be better. You notice that the the quirk with this um, 
set of mechs is that experience is normally shared between them all. Because you get experience for killing. But it's on the person who did the killing. When with fire, however, doesn't matter. Fire is just global. It burns and then it, everybody's... Um, everybody's... Uh, everybody gains a, a share of that experience. We can also test the mech as well, which, um, as you can see, is probably not very good here. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, yeah, decent little thing there. Done testing. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, that's been a little bit of Into the Breach. If you like we see, then links are in the description so you can check it out yourself. If you want to see more, then by all means let me know because I am more than happy to play more of this thing. I know that uh, previously, however, there wasn't a lot of people watching, which might end up as a... Uh, as a Patreon series, a long play type thing. But yeah, by all means, let me know if you want to see more. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.